Before I start today's setup guide on NES HD texture pack enhancements, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, Just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a setup guide just like this one you're watching today and it also helps out my channel too. So we're looking at Nintendo NES enhancements today. This is HD texture packs and we need a multi-emulator called Mezen for this or Mazen. I think this is pronounced various different ways around the world. So first of all what we're going to do is download the multi-emulator just here and I'm going to be using this for Windows. I've already downloaded this and it's on my desktop ready to extract and we're also going to need a Nintendo NES texture pack so for this setup guide I'm going to be using the original Mega Man of course this is the original uh, late 1980s Mega Man game so you can download it from this website this is a github and the link's going to be in my description just go to code and then go to download zip okay so next thing we need to do is take a look at setting up Mason or Mezon. Uh, so what I'm going to do, because once we open this up, it's going to create various different folders. We want to put all of these folders. It's going to generate inside of one folder, so everything's easy to access and everything's neat. So I'm going to go to New Folder, and I'm going to just call this folder NES, and I'm going to drag in the Mason or Mezon.exe inside of that NES folder, and I'm going to just open this up. Windows protected your PC, go to more info and run anyway. Okay, so first thing we're going to see is configuration window pop up. So what I'm going to do is just choose the next option down, store the data in the same folder as the application. And from here, I'm going to just go to confirm. And here we go. And as we can see, because I've put all of this in one folder, it's now generated a couple more folders and some .dll files, whereas if I selected the other option through configuration, it would have went into my C drive. So let's just leave it like this for now. So what we're gonna do next inside of here is just right click, new folder, and I'm gonna call this folder games. I'm also gonna create another folder in here. So right click again, new folder, and I'm gonna call this folder HD packs. Okay, next thing we need to look at is the Mega Man game itself. So I've got the texture pack just here, which is titled Mega Man Super Main Dot Zip. What I'm going to do is for now just drag this one inside of that HD packs folder. And I'm going to go into the games folder, and here's my Mega Man game. So if we open this up, as we can see, this is Mega Man Dot NES, and that's just a normal game file. I'm going to drop megaman.zip into the NES games folder. Next thing I'm going to do is just go back into HD packs again. I'm going to right click on megaman super main.zip, which is our texture pack. If I right click on it, go to show more options, rename, and what I'm going to do is right click and copy the name of that. And from here, what I'm going to do is create a new folder, new folder and control and V, which is gonna paste what we just copied. What I'm gonna do from here is drag in that zip folder inside of that new Mega Man Super Main folder and extract it. So right click and I'm using WinRAR extract here. Okie dokes, cool. So if we go in there, this is our texture packs. This is lots of different .png images. Now next thing we need to do is just make sure we got the copy of that name, Mega Man Super Hyphen Main, whatever. So right click, copy, and I'm gonna go into my games folder now, and this is where my Mega Man game is. If I right click on it, show more options, rename, I'm gonna just paste in 
the title of the texture pack itself as you can see just there what i've done so no longer do we have the game mega man dot zip your game name needs to be mega man hyphen super hyphen main dot zip okay so next thing we need to do then is go back to mezzan and i'm going to go to file open and from here i'm going to open up my nes game so i'm going to go to desktop and into my nes folder into games here is my mega man game and this is just generated a couple more folders and what we're going to do next is actually apply the hd texture pack so to do this we're going to go to tools hd packs install hd pack and that should take us here what we need to do is come out the games folder and we need to go into the hd packs folder into the mega man super main folder and i'm gonna double left click on my mega man super main dot zip the hd pack has been installed successfully do you want to reset the game and load the hd pack now i'm gonna just go to ok and here we go we now got mega man super so as you can see if you're familiar with the original mega man game then you'll notice that this is very different now with this multi emulator we can actually set up a controller if you wish but it should automatically detect your controller by default if it doesn't what you need to do is go to settings down to input and as you can see here, system specific settings, NES, NES, Game Boy, and so on. This is the systems that this multi emulator covers. We're gonna go to NES for this, and port one, NES controller, we're gonna go to setup, and just here, you can then map out your controller. So if I left click on pad one up, I can then press pad up or D-pad up on my Xbox Series X controller and so on. If we go to OK and something else you might consider doing is just go into general and just making sure that enable HD packs is actually checked. Otherwise, this won't work. If we go to video, uh, what I also suggest doing is enabling vertical sync. That will take away screen tear and also go to use exclusive full screen mode we've also got full screen resolution here and to actually make the game go into full screen if that's what you want then we can actually go to okay if i go to settings and if i go to video size i can then select full screen if i want to Now what I'm going to do is take away the HD texture pack and just replay this same part of the game only with the HD texture pack uninstalled so we can see a massive difference. If I press F11 just to exit out of full screen mode, what I'm going to do is just go back to the NES folder and actually close that mezzan. Uh, if I go to HD packs, what I'm going to do is actually take away both of these folders in here where I've just installed the HD packs to. Now, if I go to open up Mega Man again, Oh, my God. 
And that's it for today's Mezzan and HD NES texture pack setup guide. So as you can see, there's a massive contrast in the original look of Mega Man compared to the almost 16-bit looking HD texture pack version. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.